Welcome to Dust Off the Bricks. So, here's the Enchanted Treehouse, set number 43215. What amazing pieces. My wife always wanted this set because of all the Disney princesses it comes with. And the retail value was ridiculous. It was like $180 or $160. We ended up getting it for a little bit under $100. So I think it was like $96, or something like that. So great, a lot better price per piece than free tail. So yeah, my wife built this. So hopefully it's all built correctly. I didn't check anything. I just, she built it. Um, and then I'm going to review it. And then it's honestly going into uh, this bin because my shelves are getting extremely full. I have a spot there, I guess, but that's not going to fit this set. I got some new sets over here, a Belleville set, so that's pretty cool. Um, this set's probably going to be coming off, Then I have to do set reviews on a bunch of these sets that are still up here. So, yeah, unfortunately, majority of the sets that I'm going to be building are going to be taken apart relatively quickly after. And I'm also trying to do a lot more um, themes so I might keep that Belleville set together. I've decided to re go through and I'm gonna do a bunch of click, get a whole section of a, my adventure set. So I recently purchased that adventure set and I'm gonna to put together all the adventure sets I, I have already, but I've taken apart. So I'm gonna go through and build all those again. And over here, I got a bunch of the Life on Mars sets. So I'm going to be doing a review on a bunch of the Life on Mars and then also save a bunch. I don't know what that's doing up there. That honestly just needs to be thrown into one of these bins. I probably don't have space, so I threw it there. But a lot of these sets just need to be taken apart. I'll do a review on that Mario set just because that's a really cool piece inside there. But yeah, a lot of these sets just need to be taken apart as well. And I'm going to try to do more of iconic Lego sets. So like this, I have Atlantis set down there. Some... Aqua Sharks and Aqua Knots ships down there. Yeah, so, and then obviously like this set's pretty cool. I'll keep that one together. These two sets, even though I've taken a lot of pieces off of them, they'll, they'll stay together. This one probably won't. This one probably won't. But yeah, so my I'm saving my shelves for more classic sets now, and I'm going to do like themes. So hopefully I'll get a few more. I have a bunch more of these ones, but they weren't complete. I did a review on a bunch of them. But uh, maybe I'll have a whole Aqua... Raiders Aqua Zone type of uh, shelf and a life on uh, oh, a life on a uh, Mars area. Maybe I'll get a couple more Belleville and just Belleville because they're kind of just unique classic sets. So, yeah, that's my idea for my shelves now. They're really small shelves. They really are. They don't. They are not very wide. Like this set did not display well on this shelves because I had squished together and yeah so but back to this set yes it's gonna get destroyed afterwards I honestly just purchased it for the pieces I like all this opal uh purple trans purple pieces so but yeah we'll uh look at it look at all these mini figures it comes with though we got Alice Belle Princess Jasmine Maribel Moana Mulan Pocahontas Rhea T uh Tiana Tinkerbell, Wendy, and then Anna and Elsa. So, we'll just kind of go through. Here's Anna. Nice cape piece. I like all the... I like the black. I don't know. That looks like a... This must be from the newer one. I don't think I've... I've every single time my wife uh, puts on Frozen 2 for us to watch, I fall asleep. So, honestly, I haven't seen the full movie yet. Then you got Ray up here. Nice little sword piece. I usually do everything in minifigures, so the mini dolls aren't my favorite. But here's Maribel with a, I can't remember the name of this type of instrument, but there's that. You got Belle with a book, of course. You've got Moana with nothing. I think Moana came in the boat too. You got Pocahontas there in the boat. Comes with a paddle and a compass. I like how the hair is like blowing in the wind. 
Then you have Alice with a magnifying glass. You have Jasmine with a guitar thing. You've got Mulan with a bow. So I like that bow piece. Those are always nice to have. You got Tinkerbell with these wings. Unfortunately, they only work with mini dolls because of the neck size. You've got Wendy. Came with nothing. You've got Tiana with a lantern. And you've got Elsa with an ice beam. <laughs> So, cool cape, but unfortunately, the neck size is too small to use with minifigures. I think that's all. So, but honestly, the coolest thing about these sets are just the colors. So you get all these limb pieces in those bright colors. You get transparent pink of the new fern piece. You have a playable feature here. I didn't build it, so let's figure out how it works. I'm guessing, yep, just back here, you can spin a mini doll around in circles. I like this purple stair, light purple stair piece. But let's flip this thing around. Oh, there is one cool feature. I don't know who's supposed to do it. Okay, I remembered. So Rhea, like in the picture, Rhea, you come over here, you unclip this piece, right? You put it in her hand like this. Then you take this flex tubing, put her, oh, I just dropped her completely. Where is she at? All right, there she is. And you put her on this flex tubing and then she can slide down to the other area. But yeah, so that's pretty cool. Over here, there's a little treasure chest underneath. Maybe you can just turn it around. Treasure chest under here that you can go underneath the waterfall. She comes with a map. So, yeah, but I'm really looking forward to just these, a lot of these opal pieces and these domes and that light color. Oh, let's push these stairs out. Somehow they got, there we go. But a lot of these shiny mushroom pieces, more opal, purple uh, crystals and light transparent pink uh, fern pieces. You get these little transparent pieces up here. You got a lot of these panels. All the stickers I got to put in my... I told my wife not to put the stickers on. She's like, oh, I want to. So I was like, whatever. And then over here, you got a whole book section. I wonder if this is for Belle. But you got like little... You got the... Um, magic Lantern, the cup. Uh, maybe that shelf maybe goes to something. You got a... Hourglass over here. Over here is like a... A smoothie station <laughs> up here looks like a little battle station and then up here is like a I don't know they probably all go to uh, so this looks like Rhea there so maybe that's like Rhea's section I don't know who is into rocks um, but that's obviously someone's section let's pull up in these drawers and see if there's anything in it oh there is a piece that talks about a tree all right, let's see what's underneath that, this one. It's hard when I haven't built it to do a review on it. And is that a knife? Oh, scissors. So I was like, wow. But um, yeah, oh, then here you can look how the person look, more transparent pieces. But yeah, honestly, it's a pretty fun little set with all these transparent pieces and yeah, it's kind of gonna. It's gonna be great pieces to use. All these opal pieces. I don't know where I'll use all these transparent pieces. I don't use transparent pieces very often, but I still think they're pretty cool to have. So you got a fireplace and two seats out front. Over here, there's nothing. I just threw something on the ground though. I don't remember where it's clipped onto, but yeah. So honestly. If you can get this set on sale, I would say it's a pretty good set. Oh, look, these rock pieces right here, too. But if you can get it on sale, I don't think it's a bad set to get. It's just kind of annoying that it's mini dolls because I don't use mini dolls in any of my builds. But yeah, here's 
Well, there it shows Pocahontas, Pocahontas there sliding down the zip line. Oh, there's Jasmine's. So, oh, it shows Anna there, Elsa there. Yeah, I don't know what these sections are really supposed to mean or whatnot, but I do think it's a pretty, it has pretty good parts in it for sure. I think it's a good parts pack if you can get it on sale for sure. I go for 10 cents a piece, so I wanna pay around $100 for this. I did pay around $100 for this, but when it's a good price per piece, then I try to look for 20% off of that. So a little bit more than what I would have paid for a set or would like to have paid for a set, but my wife really liked the set, so it was worth it. And my wife doesn't approve too many Lego purchases of mine. So when she she wants a set, I, I, don't, I don't question it. I just purchase it. So there is the Enchanted Treehouse. Uh, great parts. I'm gonna be happy to take this thing apart and use all these pieces and put it all in my inventory. All right, you've made it this far. There is a lot happening in the Lego room. Uh, if you're interested in friend sets, you're probably not gonna be interested in the rest of it, but what is going on in the rest of my Lego room is a dinosaur video is coming out. I've done lots of research. I'm just about to get ready to film it. So that is exciting. I've done a lot, I've learned a lot, but honestly, all the information I learned it was very difficult to script a video. And honestly, it might end up being two-parter because it's a lot of information I've learned and want to share in this video. So I might do like Dino Island dinosaurs and then the brick-built kind of dinosaurs. They're not really brick-built, but they kind of are. But so I might do one on those. And then uh, some themes that I don't have any dinosaurs on like Dino Island or sorry, not Dino Island, a Dino Attack, that I know 2010 and Dino. But then after that, I'm gonna start working really hard on my animal series I'm working on. So I've got the horses, I got a lot of information on the horses already getting ready. I got a decent amount of horses, got some Belleville horses and just been trying to pick up. I, have a, I did a PAB order of horses that I did not have, which was like three of them. And then I did a bunch of other animals I don't have yet. So hopefully all this, and then I have a whole pile over here because I cleared off this one So to get ready for it. So tons of animals. Start that series here shortly. And then, yeah, I think, and then set reviews. So tons of set reviews are going to be coming out. And then I also have tons of work on sorting out all those, which this will be added to it. And then a lot of the sets, other sets that I'm going to do reviews on will probably be added to it as well. So yeah, lots is happening in the Lego room. Videos aren't being posted very often, but I'm working on it. It's a lot to do. So thank you for staying patient and waiting for all these videos to come out. But hopefully you like this set. Hopefully you hit the subscribe button if you're interested in any of the other videos that I'm gonna do. But thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.